Alrighty then, so this is a video about the Scutch or Scooch AS26 telephone line simulator. Um, the, what this thing is used for, I'm not really certain. The uh, information on their website talks about it being used to leave messages on a voice card in a computer. Um, don't know why you would need to do that or why you need a special card. Um, most of the other phone simulators I found, uh, they were these things are used to uh, for demonstrating a phone system to a client. Uh, that way you don't have to bring the entire phone system, just uh, the basic thing. Uh, the, the, some of the uh, what do you call it? The capabilities of this are that it will generate a dial tone uh, for up to eight seconds. There are jumpers inside that you set for two, four, six seconds and uh, no dial tone. Uh, it's really simple to work or to use. You plug in two phones and when you want to ring one phone from another one you just pick up the handset and it'll either you know show, give you a dial tone which does not sound like a normal dial tone and then it will ring the other line and it works in reverse uh, it doesn't support much more than that uh, it doesn't support flashing or anything else but it does make for a, a nice hotline. Um, so what I got mine for is I wanted to set up a phone between my house and my shop. I tried to do this in the past before and uh, had to run the cabling through the, you know, I tried running it through the air and um, it just didn't work too well. Uh, this time I ran it all properly through conduit that was buried in the ground when I had electricity put back in the shed. So, real quick, this is uh, how it's run from the from the shed out into the uh, house. So stand by a second. So I have a phone here and it just runs by a, a wire up to there. The second wire goes behind here and then over to there which goes out to a junction box. It runs out into here, down here, underground, up here, through there, into there. It runs through here, it runs all the way into here. And so when you pick it up in here, it rings out here. When you pick it up in here, and then it rings in here. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, I, since I ran the Cat5 cable, uh, it only has four pairs, and I do plan on running data across it. And I will be, I've used one pair, I've used blue for phone. I will use the orange and the green pair for a 10 base or a hundred base T connection which is 100 megabits full duplex uh, you only need two pairs for that and then that leaves one extra pair of the, the brown wire I have no use for it at this time uh, I could run a second line for gigabit connection but I don't really need that out here the computer I have uh, supports gigabit 
but uh, I'm just going to use it for looking up manuals and whatnot. And uh, so this is just attached up there using some, uh, what do you call it, canvas strap. And uh, it, when I turn on my power strip, it turns on that. It won't be, that means it'll be off when I'm not in here. And I think that's about it. I um, mean, you know, other than why am I doing this instead of using my cell phone? I don't always want to bring my cell phone out here. And my cell phone doesn't get very good coverage inside here because it's the entire thing's metal. And you know, just seems like a fun thing to do. So, later.